Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you all of my May empties. So, let's get into it before my voice goes completely gone. <clears throat> so anyway, I have some Epsom salts from Dr. Teal's. I have two different ones. Um, I have just a regular one, a fra fragrance-free one. And then I have one that is the Shea Butter and Almond Oil. I liked both of them. The only thing is with the, um, with just the regular one, I would just purchase one that's like the off-brand at whatever store you're buying it at instead of spending the money for the Dr. Teal's. So, but um, the fragrance ones from Dr. Teal's I really do like, so. That's why I get these. My husband and I go through a lot of those. But then I have a bath wash shower gel from Jason. It's This one was in the apricot, the body wash. I'm actually down to my last two in my stash that I had purchased probably three years ago. Yeah. Anyway, so... Anyway, I like this because it doesn't irritate my skin. Um, I'm very, very sensitive to body wash and how I'm sensitive to it. It will make my arms itch like no other if I'm um, sensitive to it or if it irritates me, and this doesn't do that. Now, certain scents of this I have found, like the Camille, Camille did for some reason. I don't know why that one did, and I have one that I'm using now is kind of irritating to me, but this one wasn't. So anyway, I do like those, and I get them. I can find them at TJ Maxx. I've seen them, and most of mine I had ordered off of Vitacost. This one my husband used, and this was from Bath & Body Works, and it is the Vanilla Bean Noel. And we had um, drew names at Christmas, and I drew his name. So I bought him six of these because he likes to take bubble baths and he likes vanilla. So I hooked him up with this and um, he likes it. It doesn't irritate him, but I cannot use this stuff at all. And Bath and Body Works is the worst for me. Um, <clears throat> cannot use it at all. But anyway, he liked it. <clears throat> I have some makeup remover wipes. One is my one that I have all the time from Apple, the original queen that I get at Big Lots. Use these in the beauty room to do swatches, to wipe off um, any eyeshadow that has um, had fallout on my cheeks and stuff. And then I had these from Parents' Choice. These are baby wipes, but they're the micellar wipes. And I thought maybe these could possibly replace the Apple ones because they're a little bit more cost effective but I didn't like them so I won't be repurchasing those. From Exuviance I have the Exuviance Performance Peel Pad. These were 25% professional level APH PHA blend glycolic acid and mandelic acid and peel pads and this was a six week supply and what you did was step one was the product that had the acid in it. It was just like a round um, cotton pad that you just ran all over the face and got all the product on there. You left that on for a couple minutes. And then after you did that, then you put step two on, which was the neutralizer. And that kind of helped bring the sting down and um, use these six weeks in a row and you would have really good bright bright skin they really really worked especially if you did did them like they said and use them within six weeks don't do like I did and try and make them last and use them within like six maybe 12 months because they kind of lose their potency when you do that so don't do like I did use them up within the six weeks <clears throat> then from The Ordinary, I have, I think this was the Vitamin C product. I have to look my glasses at. Yes, this was their Vitamin C. This is the one that had the Solution 20% in Vitamin F, 
assorable something 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 but this was the one that was in oil I didn't care for it I didn't like the way it felt on my skin so I won't be repurchasing that another product from the ordinary was the Argelene solution 10% which targets the appearance of dynamic facial lines I did like this and at one point I will be repurchasing this just not anytime soon because I'm trying to get through some of my skincare before I start repurchasing a whole lot then for may love was the glow maker um, antioxidant serum i did like this and i thought i seen some really good results from this um, it was a balanced formula of vitamin c e fluorulic acid and sodium hyaluronate so i did like that um, it's reasonably priced just not going to repurchase it right now because like I said I have other products I'm using but I am going to put this on the repurchase list another product that I'm definitely going to repurchase and probably will be doing that in the fall during the Black Friday sales and this is the I'm from ginseng serum I really, really liked this serum. I think it really helped when I was really battling some of this hormonal breakouts that I was dealing with on my chin. I think it really, really helped with that. So I definitely want to get some of this back into my skincare rotation. There's another product. Oh, this was the Herbivore Prism. Herbivore Prism Natural Fruit Acids 5%. This is an exfoliating glow potion. Um, I would definitely repurchase this. Matter of fact, I tried to repurchase it during the Sephora VIB sale, but the one that I had um, purchased and it came to me had already gone off. Um, the problem with this, the Herbivore line, is they will go bad pretty quickly so when you get a product like this from herbivore you have to be ready to use it consistently don't have a whole lot of products in your skincare that you're going to be using in addition to this because if you don't intend to use this within 30 to 60 days then you're going to run the risk of it um, going off so this size here is not um, sold individually this was in a kit so I think I'm going to wait until this is available again in a kit so I can get this side because I think this size is more manageable for me to use than what the bigger size would be anyway but I did like it so an oil that I liked was from youth to the people the Makai and Asiai Prickly Pear um, Goji, the Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Oil. I used this of the morning. This was my morning oil that I would mix in with um, moisturizers or sometimes I would just use it on its own. But I really did enjoy using this. I purchased this back during the VIB sale back during the winter. And um, that's how long it lasted me. Not very long, but I used it daily daily so anyway I did like it and it will be going on the repurchase list Let's see they from herbivore the rose hibiscus coconut water hydrating face mist this was a deluxe sample size I think it came in that kit with that other product that I just showed from Herb herbivore I did not care for this. I think it might have been the coconut water that was in it. I didn't like it, so I will not repurchase this on its own. If it comes in a kit, I might give it to my daughter to use, but I did not care for that. From pharmacy, this was the Green Clean Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I didn't really care for that. Um, it, yeah, it got all the makeup off, but I just really, I didn't feel for, I felt like it was just too greasy for me. I didn't like it. So I wouldn't repurchase the big size. And I know there's a lot of people that has a really good cult fo following, but I didn't 
didn't like it. So, from Saturday Skin. Now this I liked. This was the Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. This was a really nice daytime moisturizer for me. Uh, I liked mixing it with um, the Youth to the People oil. And I, like I said, I used it of the daytime for my moisturizer. It worked well underneath makeup and I enjoyed using it and would definitely consider repurchasing it. I just don't need to right now because I have so many moisturizers I need to bounce my way through. Now this guy I won't repurchase. Mainly because of the, the mechanism here. Because when it would squirt, it would just squirt and blotches all over your face. It wasn't like an even dispersion and then it would just be like drenching. So how I ended up using it was just um, spraying it onto my beauty sponge and then just using my beauty sponge then to tap out my foundation is how I would use it. But it was the Ready Set Radiant um, Skin Mist. It was not a mist. It was a squirt. So anyway, I wouldn't I'm not going to repurchase it. Um, I don't really buy a whole lot of Tarte products, so it wouldn't be something I would repurchase. I have other skin uh, mists that I like better. So anyway, but I did use it. I replaced my brush head on my Sonic Clarisonic, and I replaced it to the normal skin brush head it's not my favorite i do believe that was this was my last one that i needed to use the one i had on there before was the radiance which is my absolute favorite the radiance and the cashmere are my two favorite ones to use so anyway the the normal won't be on my repurchase list but the cashmere and the radiance will be I keep saying my repurchase list because I'm really trying to not repurchase a whole lot of stuff right now I need to really you'll see in my next haul I really need to rein it in desperately I have some exfoliating um, cotton rounds these were from up and up which is targets um, house brand I did like these I thought they were good I like to use these of the morning with my Clinique Clarifying Lotion, which is a toner of the morning and really help to exfoliate the skin, get all of that dead skin that was on that my AJs and my acids would help get rid of during the night. So that really helped with that. Have a Becca primer. This was the back the backlight primer. Or is this the backlit? I think it is the backlight. The backlit primer. First light. The first light primer filter. Used up one of those. Um, have a couple more of these that I will be using. I like this one. It's the purple. I really hope that it helps to really brighten the skin and works very well underneath the types of foundations that I use. Works on my dry skin. Here's a product that I'm definitely going to be repurchasing during the Black Friday sales events. I don't know if it would be included on a Black Friday deal, but this is from the brand Easy Do. Um, it is a Korean skincare product. It's the Repair Control, Repair Control EGF, the Eternal Growth Factor. Um, it's to help control your skin condition. For soothes and stabilizes sensitive skin. And what this was for was to just target areas that you felt like you needed a little extra help with repairing the skin. And what I did with this was I used it mainly as a nighttime under eye treatment. I really, really, really did like this product. And it's pricey. It's very pricey, especially when you're looking at it being a Korean skincare product. And if I'm not mistaken, it was anywhere between 80 and 90 to 95 dollars somewhere around in that price range which if this was a american brand something that was sold here in the united states being marketed here in the united states you know this would probably be like a 300 hundred dollar product but i really did enjoy using it i've been out of it for quite some time and i'm just now getting around to putting it into my empties but 
I really did like it. I thought I really seen some really good results with the wrinkles underneath my eyes. And I definitely want to get another container of it. It did not take much of the product. It was very concentrated, so a very little went a long way. So that's why it lasted for quite some time. And I can't remember if I ordered it off of Wish Trend or off of Soko Glam, but it was one of those two websites. But I really did like it. From L'Oreal, my luminous, um, voluminous lash base. This is just a eyelash primer base. You know, one of those white ones. Uh, it's probably my favorite ones that I've tried and have repurchased this already because I really do like that and didn't want to be without. One from Essence that um, I didn't really care for. I've used it quite a bit and I know it's not gone, but I just didn't want to deal with it anymore, but it was the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer, super volume with peptides. It also had um, the ACI um, oils in it. Was it the oil? Yeah, oil and mango butter. That's supposed to be very conditioning, you know, to the lashes, and you know, it's supposed to benefit the lashes. But it just was really goopy. I didn't care for it. it had a nice smell to it, though, a really nice smell. But I just it really made my eyelashes, instead of going up like this, it made them kind of go out like that. And I just didn't really care for that. So, But I tried. I used it for, like I said, for a really long time. And then from Harry's, I had a shade cream. I didn't like this. And I know I got this for free from somewhere, but I did not like this. I used it, but mm -mm, I no, did not care for that. Here's another um, skincare product that I really do like. And every time I have one of these, I was thinking, man, my skin looks so good. Every time I use this, this will last me about four weeks. I think, man, my skin looks good. I need to buy the full size of this. But then I look at the price. I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to. I have other stuff I need to use. But it's the S.A. Lauder Advanced Night Repair. It's just a cult classic that is like their namesake. Let's put Estee Lauder on the map. It's really good. So anytime I can get one of these little samples, boy, I grab them up. From Murad, 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 <laughs> is the City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. This was a really good overnight like mask type product. It really helped to exfoliate the skin. And you get up in the morning, wash your face, and you had a lot of brightness to your skin. I really did like that. I thought it was good. I don't know if I would repurchase it or not just because of the price tag on these things. But if I was to find it at TJ Maxx, yeah, that would be a that would be a win. A win-win. Then from Dior, this was a eyelash primer that once again, this is the second one that I've had like this, that once again I did not get to use. So this was a big fat fail because the little bristle portion of it here came off inside of there. So I never got to use it. It is down in there and you cannot get it out. And so that was a big waste, a big fat waste. I think it was like when you buy something at Sephora and you could put in a code. And this was a product that you put a coat in for. Yeah, that was a waste. And then the, before I get to my declutter item, I had some perfumes. I finished up two of my Amazing Grace perfumes. One is the original Amazing Grace. Absolutely love and will be repurchasing. Just not right now because I have some perfumes I need to use up first. And the other one was the Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. Wonderful. It seemed like every time I wore this one, I would get a lot of compliments on this one. And it seemed like to me, every time I would wear this, I couldn't smell it. And I thought, I'm not going to repurchase this because I couldn't smell it. But I would always get compliments when I would wear this. Hmm. So it must have really, like, meshed really well with my, the heat of my skin. But anyway, I liked both of them. And then my declutter product is this here from Too Cool for School. And it was a lip tint that came free. 
in some products at some point in time. It's the Glossy Blaster Tint. And I really wanted to like this because I really liked the color of it. But first of all, the little lid here came unglued, which I could probably hot glue that back on. That probably wouldn't be an issue. But it's just the product itself. It's really kind of goopy. It smells good. It almost smells like juicy fruit. And like I said, the color is really pretty. But it just doesn't wear well on my lips. Um, kind of feathers up into my lines and I just, I'm just not liking it. I've tried lots and lots of times to wear it, but it just doesn't work very well for me. So I am going to toss that. And, um, and plus it get it's very messy. It kind of oozes out along the sides here. So, I am tossing it. I'm calling it done on that. So, anyway, that is it for the month of May for my empties. I hope that you have enjoyed, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.